Alrighty, welcome back to another tutorial everyone. Uh, this one is actually going to be pretty quick. Um, so as you can see here in my code, I've got this really long line. Uh, I probably could have broken it up, uh, but it'll do for example purposes. And essentially it is going off uh, our visible uh, pane there. And pretty much I want to make it to where it line wraps. That way we're able to see everything in one view. Uh, so to do that, there's two different ways we can do it. If you want to temporarily, temporarily line wrap, you can hit Alt-Z. And you can see now line 98, it goes to blank because it's a continuation right after. So 98 in the next line is this whole line here. Um, and then I can see it in one view. I don't have a scroll bar down here. To roll it back, um, to make it to where it's not line wrapping anymore, I could hit the Alt-Z uh, shortcut again and you can see that the line wrapping is gone. Now, if I wanted to make this permanent to where it always line wraps, no matter what file I'm opening, um, what we could do is we can go into our file, and then we'll go into preferences, and then settings. Okay, then from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down to word wrap, and then we could select on. Now, when we go to our tools editor, my coding page that I'm working on, you can see that it is line wrapped for us. Now every time the page is, this, this uh, code is opened or any other code, it will automatically line wrap for us, making it super convenient. Uh, again, in here, there are more settings you can play with, how, how, many line, or how many characters should it be before it wraps, etc. That's all up to you. If you found this helpful, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you have any questions, uh, want to learn something new, please reach out to me via Twitter or the comments, and I'll make sure to try to get a video up uh, in response to help you get your, your task done. Until next time, have a great day.